Hi guys, in this session I'm going to share about how breadth first search or BFS works. Let us have a quick look about BFS here and then in the coming slides we'll see with some animation as well. BFS is an algorithm for traversing or searching a graph data structures. Search starts from the root and explores a neighbor vertices first before moving to the next level of neighbors. So here root means any random vertex where you want to start a search. BFS uses a queue to remember to get the next vertex to start a search when a dead end occurs in any iterations. Next now in this slide we are going to see what are the three major thumb rules for breadth first search and we'll try to visualize that through the animation as well. First let me read out the rules. Rule 1. Visit all the adjacent and visited vertices. Mark it as visitor. Display it. Insert it in a queue. Rule 2. If no adjacent vertex is found, remove the first vertex from the queue. Rule 3. Repeat rule 1 and rule 2 until the queue is empty. So now let us apply these three rules on this animation and try to visualize how it behaves. So for that animation we have one graph and then we have one queue. So queue I think everyone aware of that it is first in first out data structure. So first, let us start a starting vertex where we can start our search or traverse. So we chose ES our starting vertex. So we just inserted that into a queue and we should say that as visit that as well. So from here, if you look at the rules, rule one says visit all the adjacent and visited vertices. So and mark it as visitor, display it, insert it in a queue. So for A, we have three unvisited vertices, B, C, D. So let us visit one by one. So first I'm visiting B. So here I'm inserting that into Q as well. And then next in your adjacent we have C, let us visit that as per rule one. And also it has one more B, let us visit that as well. So we have visited all the adjacent and vertices of A and we just mentioned that as a visited one. Also we kept all this in our queue. Basically we will be processing this, you know, further taking one by one. So now from here if you look at again, so here doesn't have any other adjacent vertices to visit. So what we can do as per rule two, if no adjacent vertices is found, remove the first vertex from the queue. So let us remove this from the queue. So next in our queue, if you look at, we have B. So let us start from that now. So B has two adjacent vertices, right? So as per rule one, so we can visit one by one. So visit E, so we inserted it into queue and the next vertex is F so let us visit that as well so from B we don't have any other adjacent vertices so we can apply the rule too so we can remove the vertex B from Q so we removed so we have C D E F in our queue so next two process we have C in our queue so from C if you look at we don't have any adjacent vertices so as per rule 2 we can remove this from the queue so let us remove that so so next in our queue we have D. So from D, if you look at, we have one unvisited vertex. So as per rule one, we can visit it. So D now doesn't have any other vertices. So we can, as per rule two, we can remove that from queue. So in our queue, E, F, G are the elements we have which yet to process. So next in our queue, E we have. So from E, if you look at, we have one unvisited vertex. So let us visit that as per rule one. And D doesn't have any more adjacent vertex, so we just remove that from the queue. So next, we have F in our queue. So from F, we don't have another adjacent vertex, so we can remove that from queue as per rule two. So next in our queue, we have G. So G has one adjacent vertex, but if you look at this hedge, already been visited. So if it has already been visited, so basically we don't need to push or ins sorry insert that again into the queue. So we can remove G also from our queue because it doesn't have any vertexes, vertices to iterate. So finally, we have in our queue H. So, so H doesn't have any adjacent vertex. So as per rule one, sorry, as per rule two, we can remove that from queue as well. So now we will look at the queue. Queue is completely empty. So we don't have any other vertex or vertices to process. So it says we have visited all the vertices, so which were in the path. Okay, so you can see the visited list as well. With the, so we have shown all the vertices as well here. In the final slide, we are going to see BFS pseudo code 
along with uh, rules and the same animation. First, let us you know try to understand this uh, uh, pseudocode along with our rule. So BFS is a function name, and the graph is and root root are the parameters. So here, get graph represent this graph, and the root represent the starting node where we want to start the search. So next, create empty queue. So we are here dealing with queue data structure. So we create a queue, and we are enqueuing the first root node, root vertex into queue. And uh, we have a while loop. So while queue is not empty. So this is actually rule three, right? So repeat rule one and rule two until the queue is empty. Uh, so while queue is not empty, so we need to iterate this particular process. So here queue is not empty because first uh, the queue we inserted with the starting node. So we are in we are taking the current node from the queue. So we are dequeuing the first vertex from the queue, and we are just iterating the adjacent of that current vertex. So for each node n that is adjacent to current. So whichever I mean current here represent a are you know the starting node, and uh, the n is what we are iterating like adjacent one by one and then we are enqueuing that into Q as well. So basically we every iteration basically rule two also automatically you know applied because every time we are in Q we dequeuing that you know uh, current vertex from Q as well. So now let us see let us visualize this. So so we have to pass root node right let us choose A as our root node so if you do create empty queue, we have a queue and then enqueue it. So we enqueued it. So in our while loop, we have queue uh, and it has uh, you know a in the queue. So we, what we are doing current is equal to q dot dq. So basically, what we are doing is we are going to process from a, right? So we are taking a as our processing node and we are going to iterate on that. So f next for each node n that is adjacent to current. So whatever adjacent to current so current is here adjacents are b c d so this is what we are going to iterate one by one and then we are going to enqueue that into q so as we did before let us see that we are enqueuing b and then we have c as well so we are enqueuing c as well and we have d so let us do that as well so we all enqueued in our queue so so when this iteration over this current will be you know automatically gone so that's why i said you know automatically that it says there is no adjacent vertex so but automatically rule 2 will be applied so we are just remote it and we have in our queue b c d so but that means queue now has three you know vertices in queue so now let's dequeue b from the queue and then we just iterate on that so we dequeued b that means sorry and and uh, we representing current node as b and uh, we are visiting E in this R for loop, and then then have, yeah, it has one more E F that also we are just visiting. So now we have done with B, so automatically that we will be removing, you know, B from Q, and then uh, we are starting from C next. This is next node C, so we are dequeuing C. That's what it says. So we are just processing C, as we did the previous, you know, animation. And then next in our Q is D. So we are just doing the same. The current is now representing D, and then for each node in N, so that uh, we are just iterating. D D has one uh, vertex which is unvisited, so we are just enqueuing into Q. And then next now D we have done with, so we are just removing D from Q, and then we are just looking at the next node E. So E has one adjacent vertex, so let us enqueue that. We did it. And then we doesn't have any other vertex. We remove it from Q, and uh, we has we have F now. So F doesn't have any adjacent vertex. So so we can remove that as well. And G has one adjacent vertex, but it doesn't have. It means it already visited because in our Q and also it is not visited. List. So we no need to visit that again. That means we no need to insert that into Q. So we can remove G also from our Q. So next final thing is like in our queue if you look at we have only one vertex so that vertex also doesn't have any adjacent vertex so 
v and q sorry dq that also and we will press try to edit that if anything it doesn't have anything so it will automatically remove from q as well so now q is empty so we have done with complete iteration we have visited all the vertices as well so thank you we'll see you in another presentation